That's also the message of the power team. While it, it may is. be their strength that draws a crowd, in fact, in the past year, power team members have set Guinness Book of World Records. It's a different kind of strength <laughs> that spurs them to do what they do. Today's OIO Faith on the Field segment shows us the true focus of the power team. Yeah, it's harder these days because I'm 50 years old. I just turned 50, uh, so I, I surround myself with a lot of people that are really young and really strong. Those young and strong athletes come from all walks of life, including careers in the NFL. At Perry on Wednesday, the power team popped hot water bottles by blowing them up and bent steel bars with their teeth. I tell you, my favorite thing to do is probably speak right here. This is one of the greatest things in the world when you get a, you know, anywhere from 500 to 1,000 kids in a gym and you can speak to them. Uh, Feet-wise, uh, I've done it all. Uh, I've broken four feet of concrete, 12 feet of ice with my head, and so uh, I like doing it all. And for four decades, this team has been using their strength to make students stronger, both mentally and socially. I tell you, the power team got started 40 years ago, but 29 years ago they came through my hometown. I was a wrestler. Uh, I was getting ready to go to college, and I met the power team, and it was, I saw how they were using their Christian uh, abilities that God given them, their talents, and using it for the kingdom of God. And one of the things we always say to people today is God gives us all different talents and different abilities, and that's God's greatest gift to us. But our greatest gift back is how we use them. So I saw an opportunity to use my God-given talents. Uh, when I first got saved, I actually went into a... Uh, choir and join the church choir and they quit telling me when they were meeting so I couldn't do that anymore but I could bench press I could do these things so I joined the power team in 1985 and been with them ever since. When it comes to bringing the power team to the area a big shout of thanks needs to go out to the Ebenezer Mennonite Church. They're the ones who organized the entire event which included five nightly performances at the church located west of Bluffton. This is where the power team members could boldly proclaim the saving message of Jesus Christ and they did so unashamedly. Hundreds raising their hands indicating a desire to commit their lives to Christ. As Jennifer discovered, local organizers say despite the hard work, this is what makes it all worthwhile. I bring them in mainly to bring kids to the church so that they meet and hopefully learn about God and bring them to know God and hopefully plant the seed so that we can bring them to, to the Lord. That's my main goal. Power Team certainly has a unique way of getting people's interests. Why do you think that this is a good way to share the gospel with, that, with their strength? It gets, it gets the people's attention. And then by getting the people's attention, the tension's got and people have a tendency then to listen. 